I want to speak a bit about nightlife in the UK and why I prefer house parties. Um, you know, I feel I've had enough experience of nightlife in this country to comment on it and give critique of it, so to speak. Um, the way I see it, the, the main reason people should go out for a night out is to enjoy themselves, to relax, to let their hair back, just, just relax. I feel in this country it's hard to do that. Now, um, there's several factors that contribute to this for me. And I appreciate many people enjoy it, but for me there's a lot of things that are off-putting. Number one, I don't want to sound like an old man, but uh, sometimes the ratio of noise levels to the size of a club or bar just doesn't work well. We have a small, small premises blasting the music um that that's not cool it's just and then you have to yell to her just to to speak to the person next to you you know you've met a new person and you're yelling at them uh literally you have to in order to be heard there's no fun in that um you know if i'm going out i much prefer a quiet not necessarily quiet but quieter bar, a sort of for me the ideal bar would be relaxed sort of um, environment, good music, good feel good music, um, a moderate number of people but not absolutely pack it out, um, which leads me on to the next thing. I don't see much fun about waiting for ages to try and get a drink and you're in a sort of really tight queue, and then you always have um, a phenomenon with nights out in Britain is you always get rude arrogant people who think they can just push past uh, men and women who and you feel like cattle you sort of feel like your cattle prodded into a pen and you're pushed around and it's um uh there's something I really don't like about it the third reason is frankly there are a lot of losers a lot of scumbags out there who will just start a fight for no reason uh, most of the guys, but some girls as well, um, who just go out for the sole purpose of starting a fight with someone. They can't handle the drink, and they just um, want to be losers. And just, and the difficult thing about that is, if some guy comes up to me in a club and starts shit, and it has happened a few times, um, I can say that look, I'm not interested. I don't want any trouble. Just leave me alone. Then the guy will turn around and assault me. Um, I'll defensively want to defend, well, I want to defend myself. Then the bouncers, doormen, uh, won't differentiate. They won't sort of look which person was causing the trouble and which one was defending themselves. They'll think, oh, guy's fighting for them both out. So then I'd have to... Now, luckily, I've never been in that situation. I've never been thrown out of a club. But I've come across situations where other innocent people have been thrown out because... They were defending themselves from some thug. And okay, they could straight it all out in the police station and so on. But that's the point is, it takes away from the whole enjoyment factor of a night out. Um, you just, you know, there's some real sick people out there who uh, really, they don't care about their own criminal record and they'll just, they'll attack people and they're, they'll use bottles and everything to do it. And I just find it very depressing seeing a police out. Um, I mean, I know they're there for a precaution, and I'm not saying every time I go into a club there'll be a fight. It's not quite like that, so I don't want to exaggerate, but I, I just think there is a seedy atmosphere about nightlife in this country. Um, what else? Well, I mentioned the music ratio is sometimes too loud. The music itself, um, some of it I like, some of it I don't. There's another factor. When you go out with people, um, inevitably it never goes to plan either someone's late or you arrange to meet someone somewhere then they've moved to the next club um, I've had a lot of experience of this and it's very frustrating um, and then you text them and they're gone and it's not necessarily their fault it's not my fault it's just it's the way it develops um, and then there's uh, probably a fifth factor that is by the time you come out of the club you're often dehydrated and you just want something to eat then there's a the whole business of queuing up in a kebab shop and there's always some idiot there starting something um, 
so all in all, I, I see very little. You know, I've been out many times, and I'd honestly say 80% of it what I could have done without. And I'm not saying something necessarily bad happened every time, but I just didn't get much out of it. There has been a few rare occasions where I've really enjoyed myself, but they have been rare. Um, another factor, I forgot to mention this, is money. It's expensive. And a lot of clubs tend to raise the price after a certain time. Um, knowing that you're tipsy and you will, you'll not care and then you'll, you're a sucker, basically. So all in all, all these factors combined, for me, makes it quite an unpleasant experience. I don't get much out of it. If the circumstances are right, if I'm in a bar that has the right balance, um, if I'm in good company and there's a few other factors, then, then it can be a decent enough night out. But um, the, it's those factors, um, especially the one about losers starting things. Um, you always have some wise guy who will, in my case, will shout out about me being a redhead. No, I, I, I could take that. But I've had guys try to trip me up and stuff. And, you know, I'm not the sort of person to get into a fight I, I, in public. I just don't do that. Um, but I hate people to think of a pushover as well. So rather than getting into a situation, I just avoid it in the first place by not going out. And I don't feel I'm missing much. Um, house parties, on the other hand, are the exact opposite in pretty much every way. The music, you can pretty much choose the music. Okay, some of your guests may have preferences as well. But generally, the, at least the volume, you can control that so that it's right, it's not over the top and it's not dead. Um, you know who's there. You're, you're not going to fight losers, you and part, you're not going to fight scumbags who will start a fight. And in the rare occasion when that would happen, well then, it, it's a more controlled situation. It's not, I just feel it's more controlled. Um, you're in the comfort of your own home. The, you know, there's a lot of factors there that are just a lot more comfortable. And a house party can be a very lively, good party. I've had some really good parties in this house. Um, all in all, I just think it's better. And I'm not saying, sort of, um, I keep saying Britain. It's, I could probably extend this to nightlife in other countries. I used to think, you know, in mainland Europe, it was more relaxed than it is to some extent. But I shouldn't say that as a status quo. Uh, I do believe, you know, some British centres look like war zones at night time. The amount of ambulances and police you see around. Um, some places have worse reputations than others. Like I would say Leeds and Cardiff have particularly bad reputations. Manchester. But um, there's losers in every city who want to start things. And I just don't have the time for it. Another concern I would have is if I was with a girl and some scumbag was to start something on her and then I would step in to protect her. It just turn into a very ugly situation. I mean, I would. Um, you know, I wouldn't let any female friend of mine be harassed or anything, but um, I'd rather not have the situation in the first place. And it's really quite uh, sad that it has to be that way. Um, I do believe nightlife has a potential if, if it wasn't for the people involved in it. Um, it is possible to have a good night out, but... In this country, there's just too many negative factors in my book. And I'm not sort of puritanical. You know, I like drinking uh, when I do. And I certainly binge drink when I do. But I, um, for me, there's just the negative factors outweigh the positive factors. And, uh, yeah, I prefer house parties. So what does everyone think about this issue? Um, I believe we do have a problem in this country with nightlife i believe far too many people get wasted and don't control their actions there's a lot of guys who will get into fights and girls um and then you get situations where um there's, there's a gray area about rape and the reason i say it's a gray area is if you have both parties are drunk um personally i find it hard to see how that's a clear-cut case of rape when neither party remembers exactly what happened. Um, but you also get people spiking drinks and stuff, and there's a whole lot of factors. So, yeah, that's my conclusion. That's why I do not like British nightlife. And I shall leave it there.